Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 28th of April, hump day. We have got some new mods. We have got one update. The update is Lands of River Po by Mickey48. That has had some extra stuff added. Uh, it's now compatible with ER Shabba Productions. It's added two new crops, lentils and chickpeas, and added compost as well. That's the only update for today. Two new maps today out. We've got Jack Pine by Shanty Boys Map Creations and Rusty Acres by Farming with Fluke. The mods then in front of us. We've got many today. We've got the Riverside Shed Pack by Missy B, 3.06 megabytes download. It is seasons ready. Now, weirdly, I'm not quite sure, I think it's a typo. It says this pack contains five sheds, the following are, and then there are four. I've looked all around the mod tub to see if I could find a fifth, I think it's a typo. In front of us, we've got the Bale Shed. This, I think, has automatic lighting because I can't find a light switch. The others have all got light switches, so I think this one's automatic. And this is a light switch on one of these legs somewhere that I've missed. But you can store anything under that if you want, but obviously, generally speaking, that would be a bale shed. Next up, we have got the main shed, four door. Nice detail, plenty of space. Good lighting, and the light switch is slap bang in the middle on and off. The third one is the long shed and this is very long. What I like is the difference between the two. That one's got the, the siding that comes all the way down. This one we've got block work and then siding. But this is, as you can see, incredibly long. Six doors. We'll go into the middle one. Only because the light switch is slap bang in the middle on this one as well. Loads and loads of space. These aren't too expensive either, which is pretty handy. There we go. Light switch. On and off. And the last is the vehicle shed. Where's the doorway completely? And the last of these is the vehicle shed. Which is this one here. Light switch just there on the wall. Nice and easy to find, even for me. So, slot counts on these. Go. Bale shed. One slot. Main shed, two slot, long shed, two slot, vehicle shed, two slot. Nicely made, nicely detailed. You'll find these under sheds. The bale shed is 5,000 to buy. The main shed, 25,000. The shed long, 35,000. The vehicle shed, 15. So like I say, for the size of those, the price is amazing. And even the vehicle shed, 15 grand. Bale shed, they're, yeah, great. They're from Missy B. Next, we have got the... JCB front bumper. This is by the Voitech. It's 2.64 megabytes download, seven slots. It's designed to protect your front linkage when you're out ram raiding or whatever it is you're doing in your JCB. Now, it doesn't have to be used on a JCB, it can be used on anything. It's just a JCB front bumper. Uh, pipe work. There are a few different color options available on this. You can. I tried on the three-point link to bring it out here, but because the three-point link's a bit closer into the back, the sides of this were touching the tyres. So I think it is primarily designed for a front, but if you've got a smaller tractor with a narrow track or something like that, narrow tyres, you might get away with one on the back. If you wanted to, uh, this one you'll find under tools and weights. It's a 200 kilogram weight as well. There you go. JCB front bumper or bumper, 800 by 200 kilogram colour options. We've got a black, a chrome, galvanised metal, JCB yellow, yellow old and red. Uh, the chrome looks a little bit, a little bit blingy. I went for the galvanised and the new JCB yellow. So there you go. JCB front bumper by the Voitech. Next, we have got the slurry Tools. I was going to say slurry pack. Slurry tools by Monter One. This is 13.71 megabytes download. As I just said, by Monter One. There are technically three bits of kit in this. We have got the glide fix, 
Now this is the Glidefix 18. The standard in-game is a Glidefix 15, so it's a whole three meters wider. But this has got some extra bits. We'll get to that in a moment. We have got the Zunhammer Vibro, Vibro Grubber, Grubber Vibro. That one I'm puzzled by because that says six meter, and the standard in-game one is 6.2. That's nine slots, but the standard in-game one is only three. So I'm puzzled as to why you would get that one. But what it does come with is the option to have with it this. So you can have the Vibro with crop sewing machine, catch crop grow machine. It's only a 300 litre tank on that, but it gives you the ability, because the Vibro Grubber cultivates and does your slurry or digestate, so fertilises at the same time, you can put down grass, oilseed radish or canola with that. Like I say, 300 litre tank, you're not going to get a huge amount down, but you can if you wanted to. We'll have a look at those in operation in just a moment. You'll find them under slurry tanks. So yeah, so now that's the Zuni disc, where is it? So part of the Holman Terra Variant DLC. Now you might not have the Terra Variant DLC, but there are a few of these mods knocking about. So yeah, the Vibro Grubber Standard, 6.2 metres, 3 slots, 100 horsepower. And the Glidefix 15 is a 15 metre. 5 slots, runs at 10 miles an hour. But, so Glidefix 18, it's bigger. 18 metres, 10 miles an hour. Slot count will, oh, so the Glide, sorry, the slot count on this one is 6 that's nine, but weirdly, the Vibro and Pneumatic Star Light, which is the little seed container, goes up in price, but it's only one slot, weirdly. So yeah, six, nine, and one. Probably because that one already takes up space. I'm, but anyway, yeah. Options available. I don't think there are options any of these, actually. No. Oh. I didn't touch anything, honest. So, we won't look at that one. I mean, that will spread your slurry and it will cultivate. That one does the same thing, but as the seed. We'll have a look at that in just a second. We'll have a look at the Vibro, uh, the uh, Glidefix 18. For the simple reason that it's got something on this. It made me smile. It's really nicely detailed. Very nicely detailed. We'll open it out. Nice, smooth animation. Now it does say required mods, advanced randomly moving parts by Monter 1, which obviously we don't have on console, but I don't know if that's been built in. Because one of the things it says it now has, which I love, it's fully animated. It has jiggling end pipes. Now I think you can get like a, 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 a brace or a harness or a strap for that to, you know, if you're suffering with that, I don't think a cream or ointment will help, but you can get some kind of strapping for jiggling end pipes. But what we'll do is we'll turn it on. Hang on. And as you see, our end pipes are jiggling. It's pretty cool. Nothing like some jiggling end pipes. Nice sheen from the slurry as we go. So there we go, jiggling end pipes and an extra three meters. Fantastic. Let's turn that off. So the next one will cultivate, fertilise, and we can put a little bit of something down as well. I've got it on the back of the Holma Terra variant. It's already hooked up. Again, very nicely detailed, this. Now, it does come folded. That's the other one is there. So, as you can see, nice smooth animation from folding. We turn it on. I think I've got it on grass at the moment. Why have I got... That's very strange. I filled this up with slurry. Why? Hmm. Regardless, that's odd. Um, I can change the crop type on that. I'm using my side panel, but... We can have grass, oilseed radish, or canola. Go with canola, no particular reason. Turn it on, drop it down, so it's cultivating at the front, fertilising, and we're putting canola down too. At 10 miles an hour, 
I'll be honest, the canal is going a lot further than I thought it was going to. So there we go. Now we're into all crop types, obviously. Although I'm wondering, on some of those maps where these various different seeders and planters, it allows you to put anything down. Potentially some of those maps, because this has a seed thing on it, it probably could do a bit of everything. So you're getting everything done at the same time. Cultivating, seeding. And fertilising all in one. There you go. They're all going down a little bit. Nicely made. Great idea. Cool bit of kit. So there we go. That's the Slurry Tools by Monter One, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And that, yeah, that's it, only four today. And it's mad. It's mad. It's mad because it's by um, Mantrid. This is the mad high pressure washer, 0 0.32 megabytes download, one slot on console. Um, it is mad because it is Mantrid agricultural design. We had the Head torch, torch, and night vision goggles from MAD last week? Yeah, it was last week, wasn't it? If we go into uh, tools and miscellaneous. But there, we've got the high pressure washer, 4,200, which you'll see is worth every penny. I've already got one. It's one slot, 4,200 to buy. You buy it. And what I love is what Mantra has put, and it's very tongue-in-cheek. You have to go with it a little bit, but there is some, there is some truth to this. I saw an advert for it. The Mad Washer is the high-pressure washer, the high-pressure water sprayer you can use anywhere, wash anything anywhere, anytime. Goody. Virtually invisible hose, patent pending, links the unit back to the main unit, probably around the corner where you can't see or hear it. Perhaps it was the other corner. So obviously, there's no main unit. The virtually invisible hose, patent pending, is very handy. What I like to go with is, this is actually drawing the moisture out of the air around you. But there are, there are washers like this that have a pressure washer unit in the actual handle, in the wand. And you can actually connect like a two litre water bottle, you can all various different things onto it to spray with. It, it's, you know, so it's not one you go over to it's in your tools so if i press up on the d-pad there's my pressure washer have you got a pressure washer in your pocket or are you just happy to see me so it's in my pocket press circle and i can pressure wash anywhere anytime without the worry of hoses and all those pesky things because like i said it's it's drawing water from the air around me moisture from the air around me it's bonkers, it's not realistic, I know, that's why Mantrid's put that tongue-in-cheek description. But to be honest, it's pretty handy. I can now start my car washing service and just go anywhere. Jump in my car, pressure washer back in my pocket and off I go. So I can say, yeah, I mean, don't get too bent out of shape over it. Yes, there's no base unit, yes, there's the invisible hose or however you want to go about it. But, very handy, very clever, very funny. I like it. And that is it for today. I'm going to try and get onto the map tours um, as soon as I can, <laughs> if I can. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.